Hello everyone, welcome back to Alakas, I'm your host Alfredo, and today, as you can tell by the layout here, i got another tier list, and I'm wearing my LA Kings 50th Anniversary shirt. I recently got this, I didn't get this in 2017, but that's what this video is about. Today, we're going to be ranking LA Kings, not just LA Kings logos, but every single one that was made, including anniversaries, alternates, and uh, some word marks I decided to include, so... We're going to get this started with the inaugural uh, logo, the one from 1967. This one, I mean, how could you go wrong with this? How could you not like this one? It's simple. You can easily tell it's a crown. Um, for now, I'm going to put it at A tier. All right, next up. And here's another thing I was confused about with some of these logos. Like, so there's the one that was used um on the crest oh, there's a there. and then there's uh this one here which is also from 1967 um this the one i just put up here that was used on the jerseys it was known as oh, it was the it was called i guess the the jersey logo and this one was the main one which is looks like this was the logo the king the current king's logo was based off of um I don't, I'm kind of confused on that. So, this one here in A tier is the secondary, but this one here is the main. I, I'm just confused by that. But anyway, it's still a good logo. I love it. We're going to put that up here. And then they kind of did some tweaks a little bit in the, in the 70s here. 60s, 70s, I don't remember when this one was made, but they just took the word mark, or it's just Los Angeles, out of the shield and just curved it around. Which, I don't think doesn't look too bad, actually. Although, I do kind of prefer the old one. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, the old one, I think, looked a little better. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm conflicted. I'm not sure if I should put it at A or B. I'm gonna put it at B for now. And then there's these ones from the 70s. This was, again, another um, situation, like I was saying, how this one up here was on the crest uh, on the jersey well this one wasn't but this was deemed as the main logo but this one i like it a lot actually i'm i'm kind of i feel like i kind of liked it more than this one maybe because i get more of lakers uh design uh, lakers feel to it than this one because well it seems like jack can't cook well he did own the lakers and the kings at the time and it looks like he really wanted them to look so much alike and this one does look exactly like the lakers so, I'm going to put it at an A. Maybe even in front of this one. I, I know I don't know why. I kind of like it more this one. So, then we get to the 80s. In the late 80s. So, now, this one here from... I don't know. Yeah, like I said, it's somewhere in the 80s. I've seen this logo floating around everywhere on the internet. And I'm not sure if they exactly used it or not. But... I, I don't know. I feel like they didn't. But if they did, I kind of like it. I think it's good. Although it just does, it seems a little off. It seems a little off for me. I do like it. It just seem, feels a little weird. I need a haircut. I look I look weird. I'm very hairy. Um, I'm going to put it here in D. Maybe, yeah, I'll put it behind. No, maybe in front. Because I do kind of like the black and silver shield and the word mark and then you just have the purple and gold crown that's a, i think that's a good combination and i would like to see the kings um try something like that but there is that i have heard rumors that the kings are rebranding and i have seen this jersey up floating around on twitter so we don't know if we're getting a new jersey or if we're getting a new logo so there there's that situation the kings have when i really really hope they bring back purple whether it's black and purple or the purple and gold i hope they bring it back and anyways here we have the 1988 chevy logo now let me um make this clear this is called the chevy logo not the chevron chevy chevy is short for chevrolet as we should know chevrolet is a car company with that logo chevron is the gas company and that's what this logo is this is supposed to look like chevrolet not chevron not the gas company and god dang it it's a banger how, how could i not it, it's great 
Now we have the um, the infamous Burger King jersey. This one, I feel like it's kind of so ugly, it's good. I actually saw someone on Instagram redesign the Burger King logo. Well, I guess he kind of mixed it in to kind of look a little bit like the Ottawa Senators right here. I love that. I would really hope the Kings would use that. Bring it back in a new version, a new style. But I don't see that happening. But this logo, it's a... Uh, Meh. I don't say I want to have it deleted, but let's uh, let's put it right here in D. Next, we have the coat of arms. This one, I love it. I just saw in one of my my packaging video of the the purple jersey I got. I was just so in love with it. I'm just so happy. And this one, I get good feelings from it. Maybe not exactly good memories. Well, I've never, I have barely watched the Kings since the 2015-2017, no, 2015-2016 season, yes. This logo is amazing. So, I'm going to put it at, let's put it right here in a B for now. So next we have, well, I'm sure we all know by now, this is my all-time favorite Kings logo. So, not going to waste my breath on this one. It's going up here in the king and ne then they rebranded to what we know now is uh the shield well not exactly what we know and only kind of but here we have this shield logo the shield i like it but i feel like the kings they need to bring back i think they need to bring the not that they bring it they should make the little crown as the main thing i love the shield but maybe they should if they're not going to go back to the black and purple, at least make a jersey where the crown is featured on the front and then the shield on the shoulders, which I think would be better, actually. Kind of like how the Kings use this purple crown here as the crest and they use the coat of arms as the shoulders. So I think that would work perfectly, but I like it. But here, I'm going to put it here at a B tier. Logo, I forgot. Um... The crown from the log from the shield. So this crown, I mean, like I said, I I love I love the shield that the kings use. I just think I just think they should have the the crown on the front. Jesus, I am glitching out. Wow. Yeah, the the crown needs to be on the front, and maybe the shield can go on the shoulders. Cause I like the shield. I don't want it to go away. It's it's good. So, I'm going to have it right here at, oh boy, at B. It's a great logo. We have um, this logo here. Now, this logo was only featured on the King's 50th anniversary jerseys, those gray jerseys, which I think are so beautiful. And the King's logo, I mean, come on, it, it looks good in gold. It looks good in that gold outline. So, for that, it's going to go... Up here in an A. Um, I'll have it. No, I'll have it in front of here. Have it right there. So now we get to this logo. Now people are saying, oh, that's, isn't it the same thing as the the previous one? Um, well, not exactly. So apparently in 2021 or somewhere around there, they added an extra silver outlining on like right on the inside of the black outline. And I'm going to be honest, I think it looks a little bit more clean, actually. I think it looks more clean than the than the last one. So, for that, I'll, I'll put it in an A. I know it's the same thing, but it, it does look a little bit more clean with that extra silver. So, let's be honest. Alright, so now we get to the 2021 Reverse Retro logo. One of the new additions. And this one, how could you hate it? It's so good. I love it. That reverse retro jersey is one of my all-time favorite Kings jerseys. And that logo is amazing. So just for that, I gotta put it up here in the King. And right in front of this one. I don't know. I just I like it more. And then we get to the current the current jersey, the current alternate logo on the current alternate jerseys. This one is great. I think this is the closest logo that the Kings will get to the actual Chevrolet logo, which I think it's funny because it's, it's so it's an actual chrome silver. And I think it looks good. So, this one, 
I don't know. I, I, I have to. I have to put it up here in the king too. Okay, so now we have reached the word marks. So this is the word mark the kings have used since the 80s, since they rebranded to the black and silver until I believe it was 2011, 2012, or 2012, 2013. One of those two seasons, they kept this logo. As you can notice on the king's helmet around those times during the king's first Stanley Cup, and then the next year, they didn't have this logo or this word mark on their helmets. So this one, I mean, it's iconic. It's, it's Well, it's pretty much just... It's just the Chevrolet logo without the Chevrolet, and it still looks good. It still looks good, so I gotta put it up here in the king. So then they changed up the word mark completely to what we have known for the past uh, decade. So this, there's two versions of this one. There's this one that just says full-on Los Angeles Kings, and it looks good. It looks okay. I think it's very long though. I think it's too long. So it doesn't look bad. I don't know. It, I just it just seems too big. So I'm gonna put it at a B. So then we have the other version of it where it's just L A Kings, which I think looks a little better. So this one, I'm gonna put it. That's pretty much the same thing. I'll put it here at a B here for now. And then we now reach. To the current uh, word mark that they used, which I believe was also part of the rebrand. Well, not really rebrand, but it was part of the change when the Kings added that silver, the extra silver on the on the shield. Which I, I'm gonna be honest, I, I hated this. I hated this word mark when it was revealed. I'm gonna be honest, honest, it's grown on me. It's grown on me a lot. And I actually have a, a Mexican Heritage Night shirt with that word mark going across in white. And it looks good, actually. Although I do, I feel like the other logo, I mean, the other word mark was a little bit more dynamic with the shield, mainly because the LA, the font style, matches with the logo. Because, and this one doesn't, but I think it looks good. So this one, I'll put at a B2. But behind the other one, I don't know. I just, I, it feels kind of wrong to put it in front of the the previous one. So now we have the purple version of it. I think I mixed up the timeline. I, I meant to put this in order, chronological order. So this one here is the purple version of the long one, the Los Angeles Kings, and I think, well, it's the same thing. I like it, but I think. Again, it's too it's too long, so it's gonna stay right here though. Oh, wait, right here. And then we have the purple L A Kings version that just says L A Kings, and I think it looks good. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm biased. I'm biased because you know if if you all know me by now, purple is my favorite color. So I mean, this is like a bluish purple. So I gotta put it. I'll put it right there. But then we have this one. Now, this one, I think, is the best of those three purple word marks. And I kind of like it more than the black one, to be honest. So, uh, I'm going to put it right here. And I actually have uh, my favorite shirt. Is, it's like all black. And it has like a purple, I don't know, it looks like smokescreen with the, it has a lot of detail on it. But it has that word mark on it. So I like it. So now we have the stadium series word mark from 20, 2020, February 2020, right before the shutdown. So here we have just the plain LA. Looks okay. I mean, I, I think I would rock that on a hat. Looks pretty cool. So, but I don't know. It, it feels kind of weird since it's by itself. So I'll put it. I don't know. I'll put it at a C. Yeah, I'm going to put it at a C. So now we have the full just Kings part of it. And as you can tell by the both the LA and the Kings word marks, you can tell that they combined the previous word mark, the one that I have up here in, in uh, B tier. And so I think it was genius that they combined both the, the previous one and then the 1980s uh, word mark. So... This is one of my all-time fam fa famous favorites. 
So, for that, I will have to put it... Let's see... I'll put it in A, and I think I'll also put this purple word mark here in A too. I, they're, they're great, they're great, so... I think it's deserving. So now we have the 2014 Stadium Series work, uh, not word mark, the logo, the main crest. Which, which was actually one of my favorite, not even one, it was my favorite Kings logo for the longest, actually. And a lot of people have hated on those Chrome logos when the Stadium Series and established in 2014, but come on, it, it's the Kings, come on, the, the it's a crown, the logo's a crown, it's supposed to be shiny like that, and it makes sense for the Kings. So it's like if the Vegas Golden Knights were to have a Chrome logo too, it makes sense for them because their logo is a knight helmet, a golden knight helmet, and it's supposed to be shiny. So if they do it too, I would like that. That, that would be a cool thing the golden knights could do. I hate the knights, but that would be a, a cool thing they would do. So this stadium series logo, I'm throwing this at an A. And believe it or not, I kind of like it more than these. Maybe. I don't know. I might give my thoughts again later. But yeah, so now we have the shoulder patch version. You have the shoulder patch from that jersey with that logo. So I have seen a lot of jersey concepts using um, this logo on the crest and on other parts of the uniform. It looks kind of ugly, I'm going to be honest with you. This one is one of my least favorite of all King's logos. And I almost like it more almost dislike it more than the Burger King, but it, I don't think it looks too bad, but I don't know, it just feels a little lazy, I don't know. I feel like they could have done more with it, but whatever. So I'll have it at a C for right now. So now we have this main logo from the, the jersey. It's a half and half. I think it looks cool. I like how it's since it was at the Air Force Academy, the LA is supposed to look like that it's taking off. I like that, it looks cool. And of course, like I said before, it's supposed to be like a combination of the uh, of the previous word mark and the, uh, and the 80s word mark, so I think it's clever. So, I'll I'll put that at a, at a B, I'll put it at a B, maybe right here. So now we have reached the anniversary logo. So here we have the LA Kings 20th anniversary logo. Yes, apparently they did not have uh, a 10th anniversary logo and an inaugural logo, which I would have included if those two existed, but this was the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. So um, none of those existed yet until uh, 1987, I guess. So this one, I like it. It's interesting. So I've never seen an NHL logo or any NHL logos, like specialty or anniversaries, where it's in the shape of that. It's it's interesting. And it reminds me of the Nashville SC logo from MLS, which I do kind of like, actually. I like Nashville SC's logo. But this one, I like it. It looks cool. So I want to have this at a B tier. Let's put it right here. Oh, wait. Uh, hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Good lord, here we go. Okay, so now we have the 25th anniversary logo. This is one of my all-time favorites ever. I love the black and purple. I it just and the elements of this logo, it kind of makes it look like that it was it, it has like elements of the form on it. Since the 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 form has those kind of weird kind of lines going around it. I don't know, I get that feeling right there. And the silver circle around it gives me that that look too. It kind of because I've seen the Lakers, they had like this kind of yellow ring going around on the face-off circle. So this one, I gotta put this one in the king. Where? In front of this one. So now we have reached the 30th anniversary logo. This one is neat. And I like how they colorized that crown purple too. And that Man, it's, it's so nice. It's really cool. Again, I really I really wish they would have had a, a 10th anniversary logo and uh, an inaugural logo, but man, it sucks. It was the 60s and 70s, so of course they're not going to have a specialty logo like that at the time. Hmm. However, the Boston Bruins did have a 50th anniversary logo. 
at some point too. I think it was around maybe this time. I don't know. But this one's neat, so I'm gonna put this at a B tier. I'm gonna have it mm, right here. So now we have reached the 40th anniversary logo. So this one doesn't feature any uh, elements from the LA Kings logos at all. Not a crown, not an LA. But I still kind of like it though. It, it still looks good. I like the the black and silver. It looks really, really good. Oh no, it's not black and silver, purple and silver. It's neat. I like it. So this one, I'm going to put it at a B tier. Maybe right, right there. So now we have reached the final logo of the video. The logo that is on my shirt. The 50th anniversary logo. This is the Kings logo that I remember so much because it's the only anniversary logo I have seen the Kings use um, in the 2016-17 season. That was just the second Kings season I have ever seen in my life and it kind of sucked. But I have good memory seeing this. I went to the LA Kings for the NHL All-Star Fanfare. I didn't go to the All-Star game but I went to the Fanfare at the Convention Center and it was a lot of fun and I have like you saw on one of my old videos, I have my jersey. I put, I got the anniversary patches right there and the all-star patch there. So I had some very, very uh, vivid memories etched into my brain with this logo. So I have a lot of emotional connection with this. So this one for that, I have to throw it in the king. Yes, in front of this one because I have a lot more emotional connection to it. So now. That is all the logos, but I'm gonna try to give my final thoughts of which ones I will move around. So, I have given my final thoughts, and um, I'm thinking of moving the 80s logo, this 80s logo, ahead of the stadium series. I don't know, I, I, I just get a nice feeling from this one. It's, it's really cool. And I am moving this word mark ahead of this one ahead of the 2020 word mark 2020 stadium series these anniversary logos i don't know i i'm not even no, no i'm gonna move the purple crown or no the the coat of arms up here maybe ahead of this one and i'm gonna move the current logo in front of the original, the main one, I guess is what it's called. The Burger King logo, I'm going to keep it at a D. I don't think I want to delete it. It's such an ugly uh, design, but it's part of King's history. It just reminds us what not to do, as I should put it. Anniversary logos, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I feel bad for doing this. I'm going to put, or at least maybe these two. I don't know, I kind of like this design over this, and I don't know why, and it, the 40th anniversary logo doesn't have any elements from the LA Kings other than the, the, the color scheme. It doesn't have a crown, it doesn't have a shield, but it looks good. It looks really good. So maybe if they would have put that purple crown on it, right there on top of the 40, it would have been a banger. So, I think, this is where we're going to have it. So this is the king here, which means the best. This is A. This is B. This is C. This is D. And this is delete. And as you can tell, there is none, nothing here in delete. So that goes to show that the kings have gotten a lot of things right. And they have done things that did not go too well, or at least wasn't good but it wasn't bad enough to where people are saying man that those should have never existed i don't know why they went in that direction or something and maybe there are people like that but i'm sure there's not too many of those that could say that but that is all i have for today thank you all so much for walking walking yes thank you all for walking among us on this earth thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time peace out